Hey guys, it's Friction here, or Tiger Tank wants to have any call me. I don't really care. Welcome back to World of Tanks, where we are today playing the Kunze Panzer, and this is a German Tier 9 medium tank that is a reward vehicle, but it's not about this vehicle. This gameplay today is probably one of the most frustrating gameplays I have had in a long, long time playing World of Tanks. Now, currently I'm trying to play this vehicle and to get gameplay to show you guys how to play the Kunze Panzer because it's a very interesting tank and a re really entertaining one at that as well. You can see we're currently top tier, we're playing on Ruinberg, we have only tier 8 vehicles and just a very small bunch of tier 9 vehicles that we're going up against. And this is actually a pretty damn good setup for us. Now the Kunze Panzer is really really good at longer distances. It's also very capable of being fast because it has this really nice speed mode and the siege mode. So it's really quick without the siege mode and with the siege mode it's really accurate. So you kind of get both of um, the best worlds but unfortunately obviously when you have to get <laughs> faster you have to switch in these modes. Also one of the key features that uh, sadly uh, is not as great is that the DPM goes down once you go into the sniper mode. So when you're in the siege mode you actually have lower DPM. <laughs> There's a really nice snapshot on the T95 and uh, yeah this video is first going to just show you what kind of a game I had and then in the end we're going to talk about what kind of a game it could have been. So, I want you guys to pay attention to the enemy team, their setup, and how we are able to actually deal quite a bit of uh, damage here on this corner with the Kunze Panzer without getting too much resistance. It's actually incredibly entertaining to see that there are no tank destroyers sitting at the back except for the T-95, which we are really, really worried about and all these medium tanks that are really close by. You can see we have a majority of vehicles uh, in the field. We do have some heavy tanks fighting for the city and just, you know, trying to, to take that middle road there. But I think the real fight that we have to win is out here in the field where we really have the advantage at the moment. We have all of the sight lines. We have a lot of tanks for us at the back with a lot of... Uh, a lot of you know, large caliber guns, and we have a T-44-100. Now, <laughs> if you're not detected, if you haven't detected my change in tone there, the T-44-100 is going to be our main adversary in this game. <laughs> I don't want to say too much, I do not want to go too far, but he's actually on my blacklist. He has been on the blacklist before I entered into this game and I noticed that uh, when the situation appeared uh, he was actually on the blacklist. A very rare thing happens right there. We bounce a M46 Patton on the Kunze and right here we're actually in the mobility mode and no longer in the siege mode. Having done 3236 damage, having been able to also get assistance damage and not lost a single HP um, we're doing fairly well out here on the field, but as you can see, things will turn very quickly in the city, unfortunately for us. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put some pressure on the T95. When you're playing the Kunze, since you have the mobility, you can basically just run out here and do the things that those really wicked light tanks can do, the, the wheeled ones. When we spot the T95, we just barely get out of his way. Uh, he's unable to shoot us right there, and we use this building in our way to, you know, keep him spotted, but at the same time have some sort of protection between us so that this T95 can shoot us. Now, sadly, if you're not in the siege mode, your accuracy is at 0.42. That is without any kind of crew on it, without, you know, chocolate, anything like that. Your accuracy is pretty horrendous. But since I do have Corona, it's at 0.37. It feels like one of those Soviet heavy tanks that has like a, a really large caliber gun. Now things look great at this moment. We are leading 7 to 4. We're taking over the city right now as well. We just did lose a Scorpion G, but we're, you know, using the mobility to our best 
um, advantage and everything seems to be doing fine. And right there, we knock out the 703, we track him, we get a very nice assistance damage there. And you can see the enemy team has gone into defense of everything here is really just as you think it would be. We have a, a quite a large advantage right here because we are flanking them. But sadly, the city is falling. So <laughs> I want you guys to pay attention to this T44-100. And I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, yeah, the, 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 the mood here is, is pretty toxic. Nothing is working. Uh, I'm moving over here and I'm getting myself into this position where I can actually shoot these guys. <laughs> and I just want to, you know, fire at this uh, Skoda or the T28 prototype because I still have full HP. I should be able to carry through this game with the remaining of our, our team uh, as long as I stay alive. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. I actually got Artie penned in the rear. He set me on fire. The T44-100 rams me full speed, drives past me. I completely, I completely burn out because I don't have, I, I don't have um, a fire extinguisher with this tank. It's the second time I've been set on fire while playing this tank in just a couple of short games. And uh, yeah, we got actually rear penned by the FE3805 uh, and the T44100 decides to rush in there, attack the, uh, the Skoda and he gets wiped out, I think, by the Borsig in a second there. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where everything basically changed. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Everything changed when this T44-100 rammed us and we lost all of our HP in a second. So what happens now is we lose the Defender. We still have the AMX. We have three tank destroyers who are really awkwardly sitting out here. And they know that they're kind of screwed. Um, because now they have the advantage. Um, it's e even tanks now. Um, and it looks like we're going to be losing this game after... All of, the, all of the work we did first, just how quickly I lose all of my HP and everything. And to be fair, I'm not sure if it was done on purpose. I'm not sure if we, you know, if, if the T44-100 was just, you know, full on R mode rush in there. But that decisive ram right there changed the entire outcome of this game. <laughs> I was the tank with the most HP. I didn't lose a single amount of HP. I was so cautious the entire time fighting over there in that little city just to get pushed out by the T44-100, getting absolutely shit-faced by our artillery and then losing the game uh, after having done all of that work. Sometimes World of Tanks is really unfair. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to title this video. I know that I certainly did report that, um, I, I reported this artillery first and foremost. I was really upset when I was playing this game. Um, and it just happened like 10 minutes ago. So I thought, you know, I'm going to record it, but first I'm going to go come back down, you know, lower my my, my levels of rage. Um, I, re I reported the T44-100. Uh, it turns out um, I, did him, I did have him on the blacklist, but he was telling me he was going to support me fighting around that corner so because i had him blacklisted i couldn't read it be because you know i wasn't able to see it uh, but i must have had a run-in with him prior the, the north american server is not very large so it turns out um i don't think he intentionally wanted to push me out um i think he uh he, he did push me out i don't think he did it intentionally I think he was just in the heat of the moment, you know, we we're going to win this game, let's go in there. Um, but that killed us off in the end, and it ruined a really good game for me uh, in the Kunze. Also, I, I am going to be honest with you guys, I was really upset. I reported this artillery piece, I think that's fair play, suiciding like that, you know. Um, come on, man, you, you can still give your, your damage to the enemy team. Um, because they did really well after they finished me off with that artillery piece. But I did actually send in a report against the T44-100. And I did send in a replay as well because I was that upset. Turns out, 
Well, if I didn't have him blocked, I think he wanted to help me. <laughs> so, um, Fiero, I know, I know, um, you, you drove right into me. And, uh, you know, things like that happen. But I'm sorry if you get banned for like two days <laughs> because I sent in that replay. I might have messed up on that because I don't think there was any ill intentions. I certainly did not write him any spicy messages after the game, but um, it was really frustrating because it was a great game uh, up until that point. So yeah, when your team is the worst enemy <laughs> that you can face. Oh, God damn it. Well, I hope... You guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, have a good one. Peace out.